We said to have an extraordinary life, you got to have an extraordinary psychology, right? Extraordinary psychology means you got to live in an extraordinary state. To be in an extraordinary state, you got to condition your nervous system, your body, your physiology and focus to be at their best. Then to do that though, you can do that. Why doesn't everybody? It's not because you can't. We all have the ability. It's because of our standards. Think about your own life. I know there have been areas in your life where some point in time you just shifted and you raised the standard and your life changed. Because whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. We live who we believe we are. My journey from here to there was lonely. The reason? I was willing to be wrong and admit wrong so that I could grow and so that I could change. You see, growth is a result of bad habits dropped, wrong priorities changed, and new ways of thinking embraced. It happens only when we question ourselves enough to ask serious questions from others. The people who do not grow are unwilling to ask themselves or others hard questions. They are unwilling to leave what they have known and practiced. They are not willing to be wrong so they can discover what is right. Therefore, they cling to right and their lives turn out wrong. How sad. We get what we're looking for. We filter out everything else in our life. You're going to get what you're looking for even if it doesn't even exist. Even if it's not even there. If you're looking for negatives, if you're looking for setbacks, if you're looking to be looked over, you will find it even though it's not supposed to be there. But if you're looking for victory, for winning, for recruits, for people to change your life, for magic moments, you will find them if you're looking for them. I promise you that's true in life. Your brain, when you condition it, knows exactly what to go for and will find a way to get there. When you decide what's most important to you, your brain goes after it. Surrender of being right enables us to ask questions that others can answer and add value to us. Surrender of being right is the prerequisite to finding right. I believe that with all my heart. And here's what I know. I never want to get to the place where I've got it all figured out. I still want to keep learning, I still want to keep growing, and I still want to be a student, and I still want to be on a learning curve, and, and I still want to value people, and I still want to walk into their life and say, look, you have something that, that if I could just ask the right question, you could impart to me that would help me, that would allow me to, to become a better person myself. Ego is the anesthesia that deadens the pain of stupidity. Pride is the burden of a foolish person. If you're going to do a job, do it right. I've always been told how average I can be. Always been criticized about being average. But I want to tell you something. I stand here before you, before all of these people, not listening to those words, but telling myself every single day to shoot for the stars, to be the best that I can be. Good enough isn't good enough if it can be better. And better isn't good enough if it can be best. Wisdom will come to you in the unlikeliest of sources, a lot of times through failure. When you hit rock bottom, remember this, while you're struggling, rock bottom can also be a great foundation on which to build and on which to grow. I'm not worried that you'll be successful. I'm worried that you won't fail from time to time. Person that gets up off the canvas and keeps growing, that's the person that will continue to grow their influence. How many of you would love a breakthrough? Number one, you gotta have a permeating attitude that you're gonna win. You gotta have a positive outlook. You gotta be optimistic. You gotta know you're gonna win. You gotta, and right now you gotta say, I'm gonna win. I don't mean just this contest. I don't mean the contest. I mean, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. My life is gonna win. There's gonna be a victorious life here. Because listen to me, the price you pay for losing here is too extreme. You have to carry the burden of failure the rest of your life. You carry that around with you if you fail here. The biggest thing that breaks my heart is you feel the spirit right now. And then when you get back, these dream stealers run into you. And they start to steal your dream. And you quit. You give up. You got to decide I'm going to win. You got to decide that 
the failure part of carrying fail. You've been exposed to what your life could be. If you fail here, the price is extreme. It's forever. You carry the failure forever. I'm being honest with you. I meet people oftentimes that say, I was in WFG, you really changed my life for this meeting, but, but, but. And they put their heads down. They've been carrying it. They carry it. They see these Facebooks and Instagrams and what we're doing. You gotta know you're gonna win. You gotta sell out. Yeah, I'm telling you, you gotta become a sellout. You need to sell out. You need to get obsessed. You gotta get relentless. You gotta be a road dog. You gotta get intense. That's what you gotta do. There's some dream stealers. You need to look out for these four. I don't want them to happen to you. You ready? Say yes. Dream stealer number one that'll take you out of here. Lack of confidence or faith. Lack of belief. It'll steal your dream. You gotta know you're gonna win. You gotta have some faith. These people sitting around you right now, they're whispering to you, you can do this. I believe it. Just like when you were a little boy. Just like when you were a little girl. They've always believed in you. They've always known you were gonna do something special. They always knew you were great. You need to know it. You need to take that God that's sitting there with you and those precious souls that have passed that have always believed in you and you carry them with you everywhere. They're with you anyway. Acknowledge them. If you don't believe that, honor them. Honor God. Honor these people who believed in you with your magnificent life. Honor them. Don't give in to lack of belief, lack of confidence. Don't ever do that again. Don't do it in WFG or out of WFG. You were made to do something great. You're special. You were made in the image of God. Something awesome is supposed to happen for you. And those of you that have made something awesome happen, something even more awesome is supposed to happen for you. I would say for the last 45 years, we've told psychologists have been, have been certainly to blame for this, at least in part. You're okay the way you are. That's what we tell young people. Oh, you're okay the way you are. It's like, man, there's nothing worse than you can tell. That you can tell someone who's young than that, especially if they're miserable. You know, and lots of them, well, if they're miserable and aimless, it's like, oh, I'm miserable and aimless, and sometimes I'm suicidal and I'm nihilistic and I don't have any direction in your life, It's in my life. It's like, well, you're okay the way you are here. And it's like, they don't want to hear that. They want to hear, look, you know, you're, and you know this, you're useless. You know nothing. You haven't got started. You've got 60 years to put yourself together and God only knows what you could become. And that's so, that message is so much more, it's so funny because it's so, it's such an attack, but it's so positive because there's faith there in the, in the potential that makes up the person rather than the miserable actuality that happens to be manifesting itself at the moment. And young people respond extraordinarily well to that because, and you know that if you're a parent and you love your, your child, your son, your daughter, what you're trying to foster is the best in them. You want that to manifest itself across the course of their life. You want them to become continually more than they are, to see what they could be. And, well, and I think that's part of the great message of the West, is that that's, that's, the, that's the ethical requirement of individual being in, in, in the proper sense, is to constantly know that you're not what you could be to take responsibility for that and to and to commit yourself like body and soul to the attainment of that ideal